All right, so this is the investigation of my friend and co-worker's house. Uh, I'm just going to start with a walkthrough. Um, he has heard giggling, a uh, little girl giggling in here. Um, he's heard whistling as well. Um, so I've got some stuff set up already. Um, I have so far, I've got my little iPad here and I'm going to be doing the ghost tube SLS, which is for the mapping of figures. Uh, I have some cat toys set up as well. Um, you can see I also have a little lightning ball there if they want to touch that. And then there we have a little toy for a little girl and also another cat toy that I'll be lighting up if anything touches it. And uh, right now I'm just going to do a walkthrough with the EMF detector and see if anything uh, pops up. All right, here we go. All right, I am going to do a simple walkthrough with the EMF meter. I'm gonna see if I can capture anything. Um, try and see if there's any hot spots here. And I am not wearing shoes, so I don't make any noise. If anyone's here willing to communicate, my name is Kate. I'm looking to make communication with you. You can tell me anything you want. If you'd like to start with your name, I'd appreciate that. I hear you like to play with stuff. I brought you some toys. Would you like to light any of these things up? You can light the thing up in my hand if you're here. I know this might be a little strange with all of the equipment I have laid out, but it's for you if you'd like to talk with us with me. Just me here tonight. You don't have to be afraid. It would be lovely to talk with you. And guys, this is a small area, so I am going to do some experiments in the hot spots, but um, I think a lot of it is going to be just being quiet and seeing what comes through, if anything. I'm going to take some videos and recordings. I've got the um, REM pod set up in Eric's room where he's heard some things. And uh, I think it's going to give him, going to take a minute for whatever's here to feel comfortable with me but hopefully they do. So let's get into it. One of the cat balls is going off. I was nowhere near that. Whoa, I got chills. <laughs> um, hi. Hi. Wow, would you like to talk with me? I'm so honored you came through. Thank you so much. You really like that thing, huh? Can you try another one too? I have a couple of them set out. Would you like to play with the one next to the toy in the corner? Appreciate that, thank you. Got something on the ghost too. 
I don't know if that was just me or not. Would you like to show yourself? If you walk down the hall, I'll be able to see you. There's also this little light up. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. It's kind of crazy, guys. Well, could you try another one? That would be really amazing if you could. Do you see the other ones I set up for you? Could you make a noise for me? Oh my God, thank you. Wow, you're really impressive. Gosh, you're blowing my mind. Thank you so much. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? That thing's pretty cool, huh? Could you walk in front of the hallway? Could you walk through that doorway, please? So that I could see you? I have other objects that you can play with. I brought them just for you. There's also one in the bedroom over here. It makes noise too. It lights up and it beats. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is for real, guys. This is for real. Are you the little girl that Eric's heard in here? I just heard a, a little bit of a bang, guys. Would you like to answer me with that light? We can do a yes or no session. So these toys are motion activated, which means it's being moved by something and that's causing it to light up. Wow. So I am hearing noises in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not aware of what kind of noises happen generally in here. I'm just gonna mark that. Could, thank you, I was just gonna ask. I was gonna ask if you could let it go for a sec. Did you live here? Can you light that up for yes? Did you live in this house? Did you live in this neighborhood? Can you light that up for yes? Would you like to play? Can you light that up for yes? <laughs> oh man. What could we play? What do you what would you like to play? Would you like to play hide and seek? Do you like hide and seek? We already are kind of playing. I am I'm looking for something it's for someone. Can you give me a hint to where you are? Can you, 
Can you whistle? Can you make a noise? <clears throat> hmm, what could we play? Do you like to play with dolls? I put that little guy in the corner for you. You could move them around if you want. <laughs> Whoa. Man. Yeah, there's lots of fun stuff here. I really, really appreciate you interacting with me. Is it okay that I'm here? <laughs> wow. Thank you. Those lights are awesome, aren't they? They are. I brought them just for you. I knew you might like them. Is there any way you could light the one up in the background over there? <laughs> There's one in the kitchen. Do you wanna play a game where you bounce back and forth? Do you wanna play a game where you bounce back and forth? Keep moving around. How about that? Is that okay? I'm gonna be here a while. We've got time to play. I was so impressed by the interactions I was receiving during this investigation. The fact that I was getting activity with my motion lights even before I was finished setting up was amazing. This hallway was a reported hotspot and absolutely lived up to that reputation. I am setting up another cat ball in here. Hopefully I can film it. Set this up here. As soon as that goes off, it's calibrated. And we'll see. We also have the rim pod over here and the recorder and the trail cam. Okay. <laughs> so you're here now, huh? I'm going to leave this in here, but like I said, I'm going to be around, okay? You just keep playing with that if you'd like to. And then this thing over here that I'm putting my light on. <laughs> this thing over here, that, that also you can use and you can light it up and it makes sound so I'll hear you. Okay? Thank you. All right. I'm getting activity in Eric's room. I have the cat toy lighting up and I'm just gonna restart this recording.
if you keep a close eye on the lightning ball in front of the camera, the lightning inside begins to move, as if someone or something begins to touch it. Unless someone touches it, the lightning remains in one place. And so this leads me to believe it could be some paranormal activity, especially because most of the activity I received was through my light-up equipment and the fact that the other light-up device had been consistently going off. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and like and subscribe here for more content. Part 2 coming soon.